Hi folks, Dave with DBS Tech Talk and today I'm going to give a quick uh, review of the Morantz Pro MPH2 headphones and uh, these are studio monitor uh, that I got for $40 so you know for $40 can't really expect too much it's worth the risk in my opinion and uh, these are halfway decent for for what you get for 40 bucks so let's take a quick look at them uh, first and foremost they're the standard looking um, studio monitor they're these are a rebrand of several different uh, I think there's a ISK and a Lix Pro and set free boss and several others have um, versions of these so these are you know have all kinds of different names. I went with the Marantz Pro because sometime in the future I want a Marantz um, deck. But I don't even know if these are just branded for them or if they actually make them or not. I'm I'm not sure. But for forty bucks, I went with the name that stood out. I mean, Lix Pro doesn't <laughs> really fly off the lips and. Free Boss definitely sounds cheap and stuff like that, whereas Morantz actually at least has a name on it that sounds like audio. So, build quality. Um, first and foremost, they come with a 10 foot cable. It's rubberized, uh, it's not the straightest, it's a little. But, uh, it's not too bad for 40 bucks I can't complain it does have a proprietary uh, plug into the headphone and you line up the arrows and twist it and it doesn't come out so do be careful with that so you can't really pull on it but at 10 foot you shouldn't be walking that far away um, terminates into a three and a half with a screw-on adapter to 6.3 and it's not bad I mean run-of-the-mill standard screw-on adapter headphones the pads are probably the weakest point they're they're not awful they got a nice feel to them pleather um, even and all that they just don't have the cushiest of pads in them the the foam doesn't really it's not memory foam it's just cheap foam um, but they don't feel bad on the head but they don't support a whole lot a little bit of padding on the headband um, it's sufficient branding on the top branding on the sides um, right and left are indicated on both sides so if you pick them up but if you just look at them you'll know that it's on the left because the cable um, terminal they swivel both ways um, they rotate all the way around but do stop at the top of the arms they kind of make a clicking noise um, they fold up so you can make them into portable storm that way which makes it nice um, overall they're not bad I mean bad quality they're, they're, they're decent it's forty dollars I mean I can't complain there you plug them in Put them on your head, and they sit nice. They go around the ear. They don't sit on the ear. Uh, they're not the largest ear holes in the world, but they do go all the way around my ears. Uh, they don't isolate the greatest. Like I can still hear my fan kind of dulled out, um, but they're not terrible. You, you're not getting noise canceling um, quality on these. Um, 
type of isolation. You're not getting uh, anything that's going to block out really well, but you, you it tones them out enough. Um, sound wise, well, normally when I think of forty dollar headphones, if they're not earphones or in ears, I'm, I'm thinking forty bucks is going to probably sound pretty bad, especially for over ears. But I was pleasantly surprised. They they're close to neutral. Uh, they're not perfectly neutral. They're not super flat headphones. But they don't have a lot of colorization, and they don't. If you look at their frequency graph, they don't have a lot of ups and downs. Uh, they're they're pretty close to to the to the line, and bass is, is extended. It's not super extended, but you, it's not rolled off and not super drastic. Um, you can get some some notes in there, but you don't expect the super deep sub bass that you would get like on a plain R or uh, higher end buyer dynamic custom studio or something like that um, but you can you can get enough of, of a sound on it it's balanced and it's even it's got nice tone to it it's not the clearest but it doesn't distort and it doesn't um, and it's not booming um, and it's not thumpy um, the mids have a nice tone and a texture to them they're not warm they're not recessed or forward they're just right where level where they should be and uh, they have a, a nice uh, timbre to them they sound natural they don't sound uh, like you're in a cave or uh, up in the sky or anything weird going on in the mids the treble is a, a little peaky and it does have a little bit of a um a hump in it so you can kind of get a little sharpness with them every now and then uh, depending on the source some cymbal work and um, can sound a little little extra splashy and uh, a, lo a little um, bright at times but it's not I wouldn't call them a bright headphone I think they they added that little hump in to add some detail which it does do uh, these do have nice uh, detail to them but it does add a little to to the treble uh, that makes them a little sharp at, at, at moments. But for the most part, these are a, a pretty neutral headphone. I wouldn't use them for mixing, but for monitoring, they'd be okay. Um, I use them when I record a video, and then I want to go back through and hear how it would sound. Uh, I listen to all my videos on these. Um, of course, I'm not doing any editing of any kind. Um, I just, but I just want to hear the playback, make sure that my um, microphone and stuff picked up everything properly the way I wanted it to. So, yeah, these aren't bad. Um, you can play music on them and get it, get the sound that the the engineer had desired for them. You're not going to get any colorization or extra into it you can eq it a little bit make them sound a little more musical but hey you're getting a studio monitor that is neutral rolled off um on the treble and on the bass but it's got enough of a sound to it that you can hear the details um they're not bad I mean, they're not M40X or 50X killers. They're not custom studio killer, but they they hold their own for forty dollars. I wouldn't pay anything over anything over the fifty dollar mark for them. And that I haven't heard any of the other models, but I would assume that they're all the same. So I wouldn't pay anything over fifty bucks for any of the others. But for the Morant's name. And for something that you can carry around with you and it'll take a beating, they're light, they fold up, um, 40 bucks, these are a go. I recommend for 40, 40 to 50 dollars, nothing more, nothing less. This has been Dave with DBS Tech Talk and thank you for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video.